Defender of Freedom Transmitting Data Log for Day 42 and 43 of the Galactic War. Data Archive, we are pleased to report again after losing contact in the last day. Due to a cybersecurity breach, we were not able to communicate on Day 42. Our Galactic War data was not reporting correctly during this time. As a result, we only have the data for the first half of Day 42. However, on Day 43, we have received an update from High Command that war data is now functional once again. We will begin this data log by looking at the state of the war on the terminated front. The current major orders from High Command are to secure Fori Prime and Zagon Prime. In the first hour of Day 42, Astanu's liberation was complete, allowing for the liberation effort in Fori Prime to commence. This would be the primary focus for the Helldivers on Day 42. Very little progress would be made in Fori Prime in the first 12 hours. Combat on the planet proved to be very perilous. During this time, we have identified a new type of Terminid. We advise discretion with sharing this footage. Defender of Freedom, do you read? The bugs, they're flying! You said they couldn't fly! You said they couldn't fly! High Command has dispatched that the flying Terminid, Shriekers, are a new strain appearing on all planets. They appear to dive bomb at very high velocities. Even if they are shot down in the process, their corpse will still maim the Helldiver. Admittedly, the morale of our Helldivers was slightly shaken by this new strain, but Liberty never sleeps. Much like Stalkers, their nests can be destroyed by heavy weaponry, and soon enough, they were underfoot just like any other bug. The effort in the first 12 hours would be slow and gradual, with Liberation reaching 15%. Following this, our liberation effort will continue through the rest of Day 42 into Day 43, but the data between this period of time was unavailable due to the cybersecurity breach. The liberation for Fori Prime will be updated to 85%. This means that despite not having the data, we are making significant progress on the deep planet in the Draco Sector. Throughout the first half of the day on Day 43, the focus will be in Fori Prime, and we are pleased to report that just before the 13th hour, Fori Prime is under Super Earth control, leaving only one planet left within the Draco Sector. Uploading liberation data for Fori Prime. Once the cybersecurity issue was addressed, Fori Prime was liberated in 6 hours. After gaining control over Fori Prime, one part of the major order has been completed. However, at the time of liberation, less than 24 hours remained in order to liberate Zagon Prime. It would seem that there was not enough time to even reach the planet in 24 hours. However, the liberation of Fori Prime opened up new opportunities. A new front in the Mirin Sector in Oshaune, and every planet surrounding Crimsica is now under Super Earth control. In the final hours of Day 43, Helldivers would be split across Oshaune, Hellmire, and Crimsica. It would seem, because the major order is out of reach, securing the three existing fronts would be the top priority. The Defender of Freedom deployed to Hellmire. The conditions on this planet are something the crew had never seen before. The intense heat of Hellmire made maneuvering the planet much more taxing, as well as caused laser weapons to overheat much more easily, and the constant firestorms on the planet set the skies ablaze. The perils of Hellmire are not to be understated, and it simply underscores the endless bravery of the Helldivers. At the end of Day 43, progress would be made on all three terminated fronts with the majority of Super Destroyers deployed to Oshaune. By the end of Day 43, initial footholds have all been established on all three Terminid fronts. With the significant focus on the Terminids in the past few days, there has not been much progress made on the Automaton front. On Day 43, however, for the first time in several days, very small footholds are developing in Malevolent Creek, Ubunea, and Ustotu. That concludes this data log data archive. Until we receive further orders from High Command, we will remain in Hellmire.